Hi everybody. Uh, because of the positive response of the other Logan post that I uh, did of Mr. Cacklemacker's uh, park on the other side of town, I thought I would do something different today and uh, come to you from Old Town Creek on the east side of town uh, here in Logan uh, in Hawking County. And I, this is a place I have never been, even though I grew, I've grown up here and lived here my whole life. I have never uh, actually come here, at least to my knowledge, maybe when I was very young, but that's it. So uh, I came out here today and uh, I found some really interesting things uh, some I'll be sharing with you uh, in the future uh, with some interesting pictures uh, I might even post them um, uh, below this uh, post so you can see them and uh, maybe a brief uh, little bit about about each picture uh, but uh, down here at the creek uh, creek level uh, the uh, the walkway and path is above me here but I thought it would come to you and uh, do a video because I found some pretty interesting things uh, all within about 20-25 feet here in the uh, creek uh, at the bed of it and uh, it's very shallow here as you can see uh, very very shallow uh, with what little uh, rain we've been getting and precipitation so I figured you know this would be a good time to come check it out uh, so what I did find though is uh, right down here below me um, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can check it out uh, found Hawking Block and Athena Block and one block marked PCP which I have never heard of before I would assume uh, probably somebody's name or something P and then Clay Products would be my assumption uh, but as mentioned before the Hawking Block uh, and I believe it was my last post in Nelsonville um, the Nelsonville Brick Company actually uh, would fire these and you can actually see how smooth or you can I, I can feel it but uh, you can kind of even tell though how smooth this block is uh, as it as it dries this one here as it's dried It's becoming more smooth and it actually is uh, marked salt glaze on it here and uh, Elstonville or higher and Athena and I am not familiar with the Athena blocks or who made them I mean obviously in Nelsonville, but I'm not sure where those were but as I mentioned in the post there are several um, companies that were <laughs> active in the, the Nelsonville area uh, at the height of the brick uh, boom as you could call it so I, I found them very <coughs> excuse me I found them very interesting and wanted to share them with you and I uh, pulled them out of the edge of the water and so that way you could get a better look at them and I just I found them very uh, striking and very well preserved and it's very interesting because as you come back to me now um, it's very interesting because there's so much uh, history here and I did my other video actually on um, creeks uh, down in Vinton County and this creek is really no different it's actually more intriguing uh, because it is so close to town uh, I mean we're right right quite literally on the edge of Logan so you know there's all kinds of um, obviously you know there is uh, trash and whatnot here which isn't you know isn't surprising unfortunately but there's a lot of rock, um, as I'm going to pan back here and show you, uh, mixed in with the brick, which the brick, I, I figure, is probably from old buildings or old construction uh, as they were not needed anymore or as the town developed. Uh, just slowly, they were tossed in here um, and figure, well, they are, you know, kind of essentially because they are hardened, they, you know, they're like rocks, so they will just blend right in, which that they have um, and kind of taken a part of the environment. Uh, but also here, I mean, there's obviously a lot of sandstone, uh, shale. I have found some tiny fragments of iron ore um, and also some coal, just a couple pieces of coal. And I think this, that's not, I thought maybe there would be a piece here. I found some on up, uh, higher up in the creek. Uh, this, this trail actually goes for a little ways and uh, dead ends officially at the fairgrounds with an old bridge, which I did take pictures and I'll post for you But it it's very it's quite beautiful and It's very interesting too because I also found in some of the uh, washout areas not on the bank per se But on the hillside washing down into the uh, creek I found some small clay deposits, which is not surprising because actually um, on up over the hill to the north and east of here is clay bank road um i don't know much about the history of clay bank road unfortunately uh but i do know that because of its name uh clay and i have heard from people that clay uh was taken extracted out of the hillsides there so that could obviously uh a topographic 
uh, sign uh, from the, the name of it of what it once was. But it's very interesting. I thought I would just do a quick video for you and to show you how beautiful this place is and kind of how important it is because you can find, again, so many uh, interesting things here um, in creek beds, especially in Appalachian, Ohio. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I will see you soon.